Well, welcome everyone to another episode of Conscious Gatherers. This is Terry with Royce and Bev. This is episode number 44. Ladies, how are you doing tonight? Good, good. It's a good day, a beautiful day. Welcome everybody to this episode. As Terry said, it's episode 44 and today's date is the 15th of June, 2021. So, Moving um, right along. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, we're and as you said in the last didn't, didn't, podcast, we're heading toward uh, middle of the year already. And, we just uh, celebrated yeah. New Year's. How to be June something already? I know. Yeah, how does that happen? So, yeah, some some things seem slow, and other things like really speeding along. So it's really, you know, wherever you put your attention to, some you know, uh, you, it may it's going to feel different. And that's part of the energetic changes that are going on in this earth and within us. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Lots of going on right now. Yep. A couple of things I wrote down, um, Terry, is things are heating up. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that mean? So any comments on that, Terry? Well, that's pretty easy. We're doing better than the weather, man, because it's June and we know it's going to get hot. But I know what you're referring to, um, <laughs> you know, not only just hot, but just things are really starting to happen. People are starting to awaken. They're starting to feel different. They're starting to react to things that they normally wouldn't or something. So, you know, the, the craziness and I don't know any other word to use, but craziness that's going on around the world, but all, in our country. Uh, is you know we've never seen this in our time in our lifetime so far um the things that are going on in the cities um and you know i was watching the the news today and people are going in and out of walgreens um and stealing things and people are are watching them video them and not doing a thing about it just they walk right out wow Um, yeah it's crazy And, and one of the guys filming was the security guard in there he was filming it oh my. so um you know it's just crazy crazy times right now but it, that's to get us awake it's to it's to waken us up to say hey this isn't normal or this something's going on here and it's not you know it's, it's hard not to judge what's going on but if you get in that center of the of the of the cyclone the center of the uh, you know what am i thinking of um hurricane then you can see what's going on and what's really happening. And it's an awakening call. This is an awakening. Things are changing. Vibrations are changing. Um, and we're all going to choose where we want to be here uh, soon. You know, in what vibrational experience do we want to have? Either choice is not wrong or right. It just means it's going to be different. Um, and you'll have a choice. So it's time now to really go within and find out what you really value. Make sure you've, you've, you know, said everything to anybody you want to say things to because you don't know what choices they're going to make and where they're going to be and where you're going to be. So don't leave any loose ends. Take care of everything. All, everything is positive. Too. Even the, the negative things that appear to be going on are, again, to wake us up, to bring that to our attention, that it's, it's time now to make choices. Um, and those choices are, are totally up to you. Back to you. Yeah, I was thinking earlier about, you know, we've got so many different things, so many different stimulus coming from outside of ourselves that uh, it's really distracting. And we get kind of used to being distracted, you know, instead of using our brains, thinking for ourselves, identifying what's truth, because we can feel it. We can feel what's true. Yeah. We were talking earlier today, uh, Royce and I, about the, the social and technological manipulations that are going on. Mm-hmm. And, and, and Terry, as you were saying, it's in our face. And mm-hmm. we're in that eye of the storm that, you know, we've talked about in the last couple episodes. And you can see what's going on. And it's like, well, wait a minute. Are we respecting ourselves by stealing? Are we respecting another by stealing? You know, walking out of Walgreens. You know, what gives these people the right? And, and a lot of us are saying no, but obviously they're saying yes. So it's like, 
you know, what makes them think it's okay to do a, such a thing? And so all of this social manipulation is going on. And intimidation. Yeah. It's like, okay, I, you know, are these uh, the security guys, excuse me, security guard was taking photographs of those stealing. Is, uh, is the security guard intimidated not to say anything or do, do his well, or her in job? in defense of the security guard, Walgreens has told their employees, not to resist or get in any way of what's going on because they don't want any further ramifications. Something might happen to a bystander or them. So they're just saying, let it happen. Uh, they've already closed, I think, nine stores. This was in San Francisco. Um, so, it, it, you know, in his defense, because that was my first reaction when I saw him in, in, the, in the news clip filming, he did try and take the, the trash bag from the guy he was on a bike. He came in on a bike and went out on a bike. Um, but that's as far as he did. He tried and it, he wasn't successful and he didn't pursue it any longer. So he, they've been told not to, not to interfere. Um, because what's happening now, you know, our police have been handcuffed uh, with their own handcuffs. They've been told by the hires up, hey, don't pursue these thieves. Um, we'll, tr- we'll catch them later. But if you pursue them, someone innocent might get hurt. And we're going to have more repercussions on that. That's the city's, that's the, the upper echelon's fear. Rather than let the police do what they're supposed to be doing and what they want to do, our police want to do what they're supposed to do. They've been handcuffed by their authorities. So it's crazy. It is crazy. And, um, you know, one of the things I wrote down here, and we've talked about this already, is setting boundaries. And a lot of us are saying, no, it's not okay. Uh, I, I can understand you don't want to, you don't want to get hurt, nor do you want anybody else to get hurt. But set your own boundaries, and after a while, are these you know people going to say it's okay to take from another that is not rightfully theirs? Uh, right. Let things happen. Don't interfere. Um, well, yeah. On that subject, we're bringing it up because, and, and we're focusing on it right now during the show. But I can tell you during the day. I don't focus on this. Um, I, I, as soon as I see something like that, I try and get to the center. I focus on love and energy because we said before, that what you concentrate on, that's what you think about, that what you dwell on is going to manifest. So I'm not bringing that into my personal surroundings and my life, but people need to know that this is happening. And if it's happening around you, you're part of that creation. You're thinking about something that's adding to that. We, you, you can choose not to do that, choose to surround yourself with the light, with energy, with love, and that element of that energy will not be where you are and you won't encounter that. But the reason we're bringing it up is so that you're aware of, so you can start centering now, staying centered, staying in the energy you want to experience on any given day so that you don't run into that. And it's really in your control, trust me. It is well said. It's uh, you. Uh, I received um, some, you know, or downloaded whatever some uh, words and and I whatever um, a couple of days ago, and it's it's exactly that um, which is interesting. And it just said, "Be aware of the energetic changes happening within you." And so we're starting to see that within us, everything we're talking about. And then I was told, "Do not be." Do be not dismayed at what you observe. Exactly what you're talking about, Terry. Move through it like moving through a black hole. So when you go into a black hole, you come to the center of the black hole, and what do you see? It's it's white light, and then it spews itself out the other side. It's an internal star. Yeah. A flashpoint. Flashpoint. So that is us moving. So it's like, so it's like move through it, like moving through a black hole. So you you know you see what the other side is, so to speak. Um, but the one word I got was um, be conscientious of your surroundings, people, and places. Know when to speak or to remain quiet. Sounds like San Francisco. That is allowing. Um, but the other thing is, uh, I was. Uh, I was told to hold your tongue until you feel a sense of calmness. So that's um, not reacting, but acting at when you can use that balance point that uh, we were just discussing. 
And uh, I was told that is when the world will listen. So they're not going to listen to your reactions. They may react to your reactions. So that's a constant reactive state of being. But when they really will listen is when you're speaking from a sense of calmness. And uh, yeah. so that's an interesting uh, way of yeah, seeing it. Yeah, that's a very good point because the energy that's causing that, that uh, dysfunction, let's say, that not norm that's not following, the whole purpose of it is to get you to react. And if you don't react, it, it doesn't gain any power and draw anything from you. So it dissipates itself. The whole purpose is for you to react to something uh, on what it's doing. So your point is well taken. Take that minute. Don't speak. Just, you know, take a deep breath. Go into your heart and let it dissipate. And you'll be surprised at what happens. It diffuses the whole issue. The, the, is, the other mm-hmm. issue is that people around you, if they're all doing that, it diffuses I mean, instantly and it's gone. But people have to learn that. They have to know that. And what happens in a, in a crowd, everybody catches that, that energy that's going around by a few. And it's, yeah. they don't think about it. They, ju- they react to it and they join in. That's what happens with mob control. That's what happened mm-hmm. at, the, at the White House during, you know, that, that, that surgeons that they had. Um, you know, it, it's just you have to be aware. You can't yeah. get caught up in the moment. And what you said, Beth, stop, don't speak, hold your tongue, and let yourself settle into what really is going on. And do you choose to allow that energy to go anywhere or to make sure that you are letting it just go right through you and you're not giving it any value, any power, or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. That's where we're going. That energy, uh, trying to think of how to say this. The, I'm going to call it negative energy, and I really don't like to use that word. Um, I have to come up with some other words, but... Uh, lower vibrational. Lower vibrational energy is not going to exist, you know, and there's this, you know, what's called a bifurcation process going on, and it's peaking. And, uh, you know, and uh, you know, some people are going to be horrified at what they find out in the news. We know that. Uh, however, you know, go, in, go within, you're going to find solace within. And so you can even look at that that process within you. And so we're starting to, and that will give us uh, the ability to stand more in our power because we're starting to see, wait a minute, you know, again, is that what direction do I want to go in within myself? Am I making sense here? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So. Yeah, and you know, if if we kind of change the way that we're, watching this whole thing play out, if we if we look at it like it's one great big game, you know, it, that, mm-hmm. it kind of adds that lightheartedness to the beginning of the story. You know, it mm-hmm. uh, helps us to get a grip, so to speak, so that we, we don't react. It's, it's like it's a game. What part am I going to play? Yeah. What part do you want to play? Yeah. And it's like <laughs> people say, it doesn't feel like a game to me. But if you look at it the way you're talking about, yeah. It's, and some people are calling it end game. And mm-hmm. it's been used a lot lately. So, you know, the words have been used. And, and, and so you can tell a lot of us are on a similar frequency when you get the same words. Right. You know, you go into well, that more. You, you know how we can tell or how people can tell that it's getting closer to the shift and things are going to be different. Because, you know, yeah. the saying, it gets darker before the dawn and it gets darkest. Well, mm-hmm. these things are getting more frequent, more lower vibration, and it's happening more frequently. So you're seeing that it's like it's getting darker here. The energies are getting lower in the vibrational thing, and that, that the dawn is, is near. It's coming, and that's what it's telling us. So know that. Keep that in mind. When you start feeling that, boy, what, you know, this is just getting too much to bear and stuff, just realize you're just in that instant where it's the darkest, the lowest point before the dawn and the sun bursts. Keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah like like the end of that movie called War Games, when yeah. it, all of a sudden, you know, everything's blowing up. It, that's the way it looks. But it gets to a point where you wake up because it's like, is that what we really want? How about a nice game of chess? Right. Yeah. That was a good movie. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, well that, along that, those lines, um, okay. along those lines of what we're talking about now is, and it, and this happened today, and I won't get into what happened today, um, but it, uh, as as Royce and I were talking and, and looking at some cosmic stuff, just leave it at that. Um, we were both getting this funny feeling, you know, and and uh, and working with some energetic stuff, and we both got this funny feeling. It's like, wait a minute, I'm gonna, you know, I'm I'm not gonna continue this because this doesn't feel right. Mm-hmm. And so I spoke up to to Royce, and and you said this, and Royce said the same thing. Yes, and then I I said out loud, I'm not taking part in this. Yes, if you know, if this is not higher vibrational stuff, I'm not taking part in this. And it immediately dissipated. Yeah. Yeah. So that's with anything. Um, you know, if you get that funny feeling, think twice about it. Yeah. And no matter what it is. Yeah. But and you're not talking trust about that funny, feeling funny that you're ah-ha. getting. Right? Yeah. Your ahas. You're yeah. not but no no. You're not talking about funny feeling like aha, like not no, aha. No. Oh, okay, aha. I see where you're going. <laughs> it was not how you say aha. But anyway, yeah, it's it's it doesn't it doesn't feel real good. Yeah. And 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 if and, you've you got know. a question mark at all, because we know what truth feels like. It's it's light. It makes you feel good. If it, if if you don't feel right, then stop. Mm-hmm. And and think about it at least yeah well one thing that Roy said I wrote it down because <laughs> I thought wow that was a pretty good one um it's just uh we're talking about every you know this is for every moment um because the next move is on us and then she said we hold our own chess pieces of our own lives so we are in control of our own lives yeah and and so you know, we talked about manipulation earlier. It's like, wait a minute, you want to give up that control, that sovereignty? We did a whole episode on sovereignty, and uh, and that's where we're going. What we're seeing that that uh, those uh, certain people uh, want to keep that from us, and now we're starting. Now we're really seeing it. It's like, wait a minute, and so it's okay. How do how do I want to act in my own life? Yeah, just think. Think about what's happening. Think about everything that's that's going through your mind, everything around you. Keep your keep your brain working. Yourself. You know, when we're when we're just watching T V or watching the news or watching anything else, that's external stuff. What we have going on within us, that's where the good stuff is. We'll get well, good guidance. This this is a true awakening and a true portrayal of the energies that are out there for decades for i'm going to say centuries because decades doesn't take it long enough we have all been manipulated in every yeah. country in every regime what you want to call it in every governmental stuff and there's some innocent parties in there but we're all manipulated and you know being driven to this time where our individual choices are being taken away from us or if you if you do um exercise your choices in speech and manner and stuff you're getting canceled you're getting um you know you, your platform's being taken away when okay. you go against the authorities that want to control everything and i'm not talking about foreign countries i'm talking about our own country too um it, but this is coming to an end it, the, the darkness is ending the low vibration is ending and know that and don't buy into the systems that they're trying to keep and manipulate it. Um, um, so that's my take on the whole thing. Yep. I call it, <coughs> pardon me, I call it a lot of propaganda out there. It's, uh, again, we're saying use discernment in everything. Mm-hmm. You know, recognize that feeling within yourself. If it feels funny, and think twice about it. What is behind that funny feeling? Now, at the same time, what's I'm still happening with people, and and I get I do you know talk to quite a few people and get calls where they're going through an anxiety or whatever, 
and it's it's things that happened in their earlier life, and it's still coming up, and it's really hard for a lot of people because what this energy does is bring that up to surface for you to let it go. And so it continues to happen until you let it go. But it seems like it's with the, the higher energies, so-called higher energies or frequencies, as they come in, um, it's more in your face. And so it's, it's, it's like, okay, I got to take care of this. It's, it's no longer putting it on the, on the shelf. I'll take care of that later because it's going to be in your face until you take care of it. And then, you know, I know we talked about this, but it just keeps coming up. And it's like, you know, many of us thought, oh, I thought I took care of that. Well, it still comes up. Obviously not. What they or did is maybe they buried it's in it. layers. It's in layers. Yeah. Or, yeah. I mean, well, the whole other thing is, you know, you're right. It, go ahead. They take care of one lay, layer of it, but they don't realize that they've buried it so deep that, you know, mm-hmm. another trigger will come and it brings it back up. We weren't taught anywhere in school how to deal with pressure and stress and anxiety. Um, you know, places like heart math just came around, you know, in the 2000. Um, places like, oh, Ponopono has been around uh, for centuries in the Hawaiian culture, but not come to the masses uh, of learning it. I mean, you go to any, look, look back at any historical um, conflict and the church was involved. I mean, way back when. And the church has always been the one that will try to control. I mean, you look in any given city, even in the cities we're here, who are the wealthiest organizations in that city? Who are building mammoth buildings and structures? They're all churches. <laughs> Most of so them are. Why would I you can't think, say that's for everything. but <laughs> Why would you think that in the Crusades and all that time, when the, the, the churches were trying to keep power and during the, you know, all we're always in there. Why would you think that has changed? Yeah. I'm not against However, you know what you just said about, about that, the Crusades, et cetera, and the Templars. I, you know, a lot of the Templar stuff has been coming up for me mm-hmm. and, and Royce. Um, but it's, it's, it's being shown uh, for what it is. And so a lot more is coming to light and a lot more is going to come up because I, I've heard a lot of things that are happening in the Vatican. I may have brought this up before, but <clears throat> I won't go into what I've heard. But it, it's uh, a lot of this information is starting to get out. And, um, nothing but it's against- not just limited to the Vatican. No. Know, and the no. Catholic religion. It's all the – they have lied to their congregations. They have told them, you've got to go through them. You've got to follow the rituals. You've got to do this. You've got to do that. And it's all a lie, every single bit of it. They haven't told the truth that you hold the divinity within you, that we're all one, and you can speak directly to your source, your creator. You have a higher self who's connected directly, that we're spiritual entities and not physical beings. The physical being is just an illusion that we're living out so that we can experience things, but we truly are a spiritual, ever-existing individual being that never can die if that if we can die god can die that's not possible hmm. um you know when i um uh several years ago i went through a, a health crisis and and was right at that door even stepped out of my body for a while but um that's that's one thing that i knew was that we do not die we keep on going Death is nothing more than a transition point. You know, it's a door that you go through to something else. It's quite wonderful when you can let go of that fear of dying, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, even some of the the priests and the ministers that that are running the churches, they still believe uh, what they teach. And so, but a lot of them are also questioning this and extending themselves out. And uh, I know some of them have left you know, some churches and they get very angry. And like, you know, because they, I, I told, you know, I taught a lie and heard that. Uh, however, you know, that's where we really have a lot of compassion for these people because they did not understand that. And they were all in this together, you know, we all created this world and, and we're, we're playing it out. So, um, you know, so it's it's really be a little easy on ourselves, be gentle on ourselves because things are happening, and um, you know some things are shocking. But again, 
be gentle and 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 uh, it, and not react. And as we talked about earlier in this podcast, is really watch that and think twice before you speak. Yeah, no, you know, I was thinking um, earlier something that was said. Uh, it's not just um, things in our past lives and current lives that that we find upsetting that keep coming up, but uh, when we get those overwhelmed feelings and just, just like, oh, this is not right, I, I, I can't do this anymore, you know, something's wrong, you may be picking up on the mass consciousness because there's a lot of that feeling going on around the world. And so if we can look at it as we're all one, like Beth said, we're all in this together, <laughs> Yes, and it, you know we call these people impasse, and so they're really affected by what's going on. But realize it may not be yours that yeah. you're feeling, and and always ask if it is yours. Yes, yeah. is That's this mine? number one? Is this mm-hmm. mine? So is this part of my layers, or is this somebody else's? And so if somebody else's, you realize that and you let it go. Um, and that's that's setting your boundaries. So so those that have that issue. Um, don't put that on you or you don't put their issue on yourself. Yeah. And uh, you can listen to somebody, but then you have to step back and allow them to work it out uh, versus jumping in with both feet and trying to save them. That doesn't work. Yeah. And um, only to, it hurts you more and it doesn't help them because whatever they need to go through, they need to go through. Mm-hmm. So it's their choice, as we have said. So it's basically standing in your own power. And, it's, uh, and we're being the observer. It's like the eye of the storm. You're observing everything going around you. So, um, you know, we're just taking a little closer look and we're, we're being, uh, I don't say forced, but we're, you know, our, well, I guess in a way we are because we're, uh, it's, it's, it's wake, we're waking up. Are we going to continue with this um, paradigm or are we going to move on? Yeah, it's crunch time. The, the time frame for, for this old patterning is uh it's running out yeah yeah so it's really um, an exciting time to be alive really even though things are crazy um you know we've waited waited and waited and been here many many times recycling and this could be this is the chance that we've come for to prepare for and to move that you know everybody from ancient times has been talking about it and everybody thinks it's happening during their lifetime well, I believe that it might be now and happening during our lifetime. Yep, I see it happening. I mean, it's just, it's everywhere. It's just, it's, it, to me, it's very interesting to observe it all. And, and you know, when I say during my, this lifetime, again, I'm referring to this, this period of time that we're experiencing, I'm experiencing 3D um, and get to participate in a 3D situation, moving up vibrations. Um, not that if, it doesn't happen, and I'm not physically here that I won't witness it and see it because I still will be around, just not in this 3D dimensional. I want to make that clear. I don't want to have any issues with someone we said earlier that, you know, um, we just will experience it in a, from a different level, a different um, dimension. Yeah, it's just like a, a different level of understanding, but the understanding or knowingness of what we truly are. And what are we? Well, we're conscious beings, correct? I know That's what that goes really into are. a lot deeper stuff, but we're, go ahead. We're beautiful. Yeah, we are. We're amazing. We're absolutely amazing. I mean, you know, and when you look at the, the body, you look at all of and uh, all of us, and that we were talking about the brain earlier, and synapses in the brain, and you mm-hmm. can see the firing of a synapse, and it hits an arc. Um, and uh, how did you it, explain that? It arcs and, and mm-hmm. hits the receiver, and then it goes on. Yes. So that's how you know it's our our brain working, and it's kind of you know if you look up into the you know the so-called outside in the cosmos, and you know, all you got uh, new um, universes being formed, that sort of thing. It's much like what's going on in our brain. Yeah. So we you know we it's like we have a we are a universe within ourselves. Well, the ancients knew that. They said to know thyself is to know the universe. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So it's uh, it's it's amazing. We're amazing. Yeah. And uh, you know, 
Amy's. You know, <laughs> you know there, there are a lot of people out there who have never been told that they are beautiful. They, they don't, they don't know. They've never heard those words. They've never heard, I love you. They've never felt a caress. And my, my heart really goes out to all the people who are in a state where they have never experienced that. <laughs> Sorry for getting so emotional, but it really touches me mm-hmm. to know that there are people who, who have never Heard the words, you're beautiful, I love you. Yeah. So you're hearing it now, you are beautiful, and I love you. Hmm. Well, right. I'm not sure anything else needs to be said on that, Royce. That's absolutely true. Um, you know, and, and again, I don't know, I can't add anything to that. It's wonderful that... We are that. You've said that, and you know she means it. You can hear it in her voice and her emotions. Uh, it's deep down within her. Um, I know it's when the, all of us. Um, it is the ultimate, you know, the giving of love and loving as, as yourself, as you would yourself to others. Well, I think that's an ending point, ladies, unless you have something else you wanted to add. Um, it's, it is after the half hour. Um, so we could end it, um, and we know we'll be back in two weeks to have another, uh, episode and that's on the 29th and you're, we're always on our YouTube channel where you can tune into past episodes. You can leave comments. Um, and I, and we hope you do, um, anything else? Final word, ladies now. Thank you for staying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, and I'm going to say be all you can be you are beautiful be all you can be thank you for joining us tonight thank you very much we'll see you in two weeks everybody take care bye bye good night good night